So we've just come up to the pub to do a quick product review, if you like. So I made a mild a couple of weeks ago. This is it. It's like a, you could call it a chestnut mild, couldn't you? Because it's kind of that dark concrete colour. But I think I'm going to call it a dark mild. So I've just been up and pulled one through. I've not actually tried it on hand pull yet, so this is just a little half. But I wanted to get a feel of how it tastes and also how it looks because I want to make a pump clip for it. It does look really rather nice. And if you hold it up, it's crystal clear, Gem. It's like almost, you could call it a ruby mild. Because it's got a red... It's got quite a red tinge. Can you see that red tinge to it? It's got quite a red tinge to it. I might call it a ruby mild. What do you reckon? Anyway, let's have a slurp. Oh, it smells very um, bready and uh, um, would you say like you can smell the grains in it? Do you know what I mean? Four percent. That is absolutely quaffable. I could just finish that off now. Looks really nice. Put head on it. Do you want to taste some? I do. <laughs> it's not bad, is it at all? No. It's got almost like a. It's like a, a little bit like a bitter, but there's it's more really to it. Silky. It's quite silky. Yes, it's very smooth. Sorry, I've got, you. I've got your face then, Jim. Mm, it's got a good finish to it. Could definitely drink like a gallon of that stuff, no problemo at all. So, Ruby Mild, Dark Mild. I think Ruby Mild. It's got the pull for it. And for the pump clip, I'm thinking about having. Um, Retford has a coat of arms. It's two chuffs fighting. Google it. I didn't know what a chuff was until, well, sort of didn't, until, uh, until I heard about that. So, I, I would like to have that incorporated into the pump clip, but I'm not sure about the colour scheme. So I'll just whiz next door and I'll show you where we are with it and you know by the time you guys see this it's going to be printed on the bar anyway but it's certainly something uh, oh, it's repeating on me it's certainly something that you can discuss in the comments whether I've got the colour scheme right on this one or not probably not there you go look I'll quickly out of the pub, into the brewery, into the brewery office. So let's have a look at this. So this is where we are. Harrison's Dark Mile Traditional Ale, 4%. I actually don't think the colour scheme's too bad. I might see if I can just kind of brighten that, brighten that circle up a little bit, make it a bit more, more golden. I don't know. We'll see. I'll come back and I'll show you the finished article. Well, I've settled on that. So, <laughs> let's see how that prints. I think that looks like a, a ruby mild pump clip, if you ask me. Fair enough. It's no Beaver Town Gamma Ray, but neither is the beer. It's a traditional style beer for... Um, Brown beer drinkers, I guess, but I think it's a good uh, example of the style. So it's not really about the pump clip, is it? It's about the beer. Now that cut was because there's some documents in the way. So well, let's see this bad boy print. Oh, while we're up here, look, we can have a look at the uh, the Croydon solid state relay that like puffed the smoke out. I cracked it in half, by the way. Um, but it was this section here that failed. 
Yeah, anyway, God, this is the trouble when you're printing on photo paper with uh, high quality doodads and whatnots and thingamajigs. You've got to wait for half a century for it to actually come out. Oh, I can see it though. Can you see it? Oh, it's looking not too bad. Why does it pause? Is it waiting for the ink to dry? Hey. Well, it's a little bit more burgundy than I thought. And a little bit less highlighted in the centre. But you know what? It'll do. It'll do for us, won't it? Let's get it on a clip. Well, conveniently, the tripod's in here. After we've just tied it up. So it allows me to show you exactly how we put our cheap in-house punk clips together without having to spend one million pounds on producing ones and twos just for our own consumption in the bar. And yeah, it does look a little bit homemade, but guess what? Everything around here is. If you don't like it, well, find somewhere else. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why I don't work the bar. Um, so, pump clip on A4, um, double sided, sorry, A4 sticky back photo paper. And uh, normally I print four on an A4 sheet, but today we're just doing the one. And then this is uh, four or five mil, it's probably not even that thick, three mil um, foam, PVCU foam, which we've had cut. I've got boxes and box, well, loads and loads in a box upstairs from a company just down around the corner from us in Gainsborough called Trent Plastics. So sharp, sharp, sharp Stanley knife. And we'll go ahead and cut out roughly the pump clip, just so I can get my fingers on it a little bit. I've tried to make sure I've got rid of as much dust as possible around here, but to be honest, it's kind of pointless. Right, I'm just going to do this top edge and then one side so I can get a nice square, square edge. And you just saw me change the blade in the Stanley knife and that is crucial. I think I'll do this edge here actually. I could have done this when I cut the sheet out and then we could have maybe printed another one on one side if needed. But that ship sailed, hasn't it? So, hey ho. There we go. So now we've got some nice clean edges to work from. We can start to peel off the backing paper. And it's difficult to do when your hands are as cold as mine are today, but we're going to give it a whirl. So we're looking for making sure that everything is kind of square. I'm hoping that is. It doesn't look like it is actually. It's really not easy to do. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do. But once you've got it on, we're going to pull the backing paper down and across. Yeah, it looks like it's off square considerably. Let's try this way. There. I think that might be it. That might well be it. Oh yes, I think we're there. See what I should have done, if I'm not rushing about as much, is just make the whole thing a couple of millimetres bigger all the way around. And then uh, the colour bleeds into the bit that you're trimming off. I just don't have it set up and I didn't really have time today on the computer. But 
There we go. You can see a couple of bits of dust trapped underneath there. There's one, two. But that is good enough. And then sometimes, depending on how long the beer is going to be on the bar for, I'll either laminate it or hit it with a bit of spray, which is probably what I'm going to do now. So I'll prop it up against there, like so. So I found it, just a little bit of Wilco spray lacquer. And that just stops any splashes that hit the front of the paper, making the actual ink bleed. I'm going to lay that down now. I'll lay it down up there. And we'll just give that a few minutes to flash off. And then it should be ready to mount on a pump clip holder. And uh, we'll go and stick it in the bar before we open up. I'll tell you why it doesn't look out of place. It fits in with everything else that we've got. That one's a little bit wonky. There we go. See what I mean? By little splashes, you occasionally get splashes on the pump clips. And uh, if you give them a quick coat of lacquer, it don't matter so much. But that one's almost flashed off. I think it looks spot on. Well, it'll do for the likes of me, anyway. So we're going to call it quits, Jam, and go and get some uh, get some traditional beers and take them home and drink them. It does, doesn't it? That one looks like it needs reprinting. Look. Anywho, let's crack on.